Brad Riddell, number 84, will kick off. Pritchard and M.J. Nelson are deep for Colorado. Colorado looking to improve on that number three ranking. Looking to bury a lot of ghosts as we're underway. Pritchard some five yards deep. This is a banged up Oklahoma team, but still with a great deal of pride. It is cool and windy as we start playing Norman as Hagan keeps it, gets a couple before he stood up by the free safety, Terry Ray. Offensively for Colorado, the brilliant Darian Hagan at quarterback. J.J. Flanagan in for the injured Eric Bieniemy. He is dressed, but probably won't play. Kissick the fullback, Pritchard the wingback, Parrick the tight end, up front. Coleman, Garten, Lewenberg, Muhlenberg, and Vanderpool. From the 23 on second and seven. The handoff to Flanagan. Out to the 25, and that is it. Reggie Barnes, number 40, the weak side linebacker, makes the tackle, but a fumble. Dixon, Dillard, Dante Williams, the nose guard, along with Scott Evans up front. Thompson, Belzer, Ray, and Franks. Levins and Barnes are the linebackers. Third and five for Colorado. The Buffs have had great success in the first quarter this year. Hagan looking to throw. Darian with a hole, but not enough, as he's brought down to 29 by Stacy Dillard. Oh, this kick bounces inside the 20, inside the 10, and it'll be down down the 11-yard line. On Tink Collins is the quarterback. They had a three-man battle for that spot. Of course, Charles Thompson now in prison. Ike Lewis is the tailback for the injured Mike Gaddis, Manning, Sawatsky, Wise, Medice, and Van Kiersbilk. On first and 10, Ike Lewis up the middle, a big hole across the 20, out to the 22. Now forced into action with the loss of the great one, Mike Gaddis. Lewis now in motion. Leon Perry, the big fullback, is the lone running back. Perry's got it, breaks a tackle, runs hard out to the 30 with Terry Johnson. Same defense that have started the entire season. Walker, Steed, Salavia, they are flanked by the H boys. Alfred Williams and Canavis McGee. Johnson and Jones are inside. The deep uh, secondary, McLuhan and Gibbs with Young and James. Here's the pitch to Lewis. He is thrown for a loss back in the 25. And First and 10 for the Sooners. They're on their own 35. Their first drive of the game. Collins cuts it up and he's thrown for a loss by Joel Steed. That have the ability to make the decision before he sees that white jersey early. It's a loss of one, second and 11. Collins wants to throw, steps up, throwing deep, incomplete. Off the hands of Arthur Guess. But today, I think they feel they have to throw. They can't afford to fall behind the buffs. From the 34 on third and 11, Collins keeps it. Makes a nice move. He's got a first down. He's in the Colorado Territory at the buff 47 before. During the course of the last few years, you see Collins' stats through the air. That's on the season. Perry's got the football. He's not going very far just to, that was something that Gary Gibbs pointed to during the course of the week important for my offense to maintain control of the football yes the wide receiver brought the ball in brought the play in. this is Lewis Michael Jones wraps him up went down to the wire 17 14 Oklahoma on third and seven Collins it's incomplete <laughs> Going for the corner, and he doesn't make it. It's into the end zone. Hemingway now in the game at fullback with Pritchard and Flanagan. Hagan keeps it, and he's hit and thrown for a loss. So far in the first four plays, the going has been tough. Second and 11. Hagan, fine catch by Hemingway across the 30 to the 33. That should be a first down. Hagan keeps it. 
to the 36 in order to loosen this defense up before the game's over. Second and seven for the Buffs. Hagan on the option, nowhere to go, and down he goes. Colorado looking for their first first down of the afternoon. Hagan with time. And it's incomplete as he was looking for Parrott, and the Buffs will have to punt. How we take that mentally will largely or will be a large factor as to how the game is ended. Ruin kicks this one down to the 25 for Greg DeQuazy. Big hole for Perry as he's out across the 30 to the 31, Bruce Young. Illegal motion on the Sooners. In the I formation, you can take a lot of pressure off your quarterback in terms of him making the right decision. I think you're seeing now, Ron, just... First and 20. Collins looking to throw. Here comes the rush. And down goes Collins at the 17. So we're midway through the first quarter. It's a good point. You used to never see Oklahoma in anything but the bone. And now they're in the eye. And things have changed here in Norman. Hand off up the middle. That's when the parry. He's out across the 25. But percentage-wise, you win most of the battles when they're in third and long. Gets and Long are the wideouts on third and 10. Collins looking, now being chased, and now being nailed back at the 24-yard line. Ed Brown was also in on that play, number 34, is Riddell hunting to Campbell. Jeff going back all the way to his 20. Hitting down across the 30. From their 32, Kissick back in the game at fullback. Hagan gives it to Kissick. Eric across the 35. It's the best field position Colorado has had. Here's Pritchard. He won't make it to the 40. Scott Evans hit him first and then got help. Third and about three for Colorado. Kissing. Depends where they spot it. About a foot and a half. Crowd is up. Three minutes to go in the quarter. Fourth and less than a yard. Hemingway. Right there to greet George Hemingway. The crowd tells you the story. Best field position of the day for Oklahoma. Tink Collins at quarterback. The handoff is to Perry. But I think you have to figure you can at least get a couple of feet anytime you want it. Of course, Oklahoma has beaten Colorado 12 straight. Colorado has not won in Norman since 1965. Perry inside the 40. They've got to get to about the 32. Here's Lewis. Going to be thrown for a loss. Arthur Walker hit him first this first quarter. Riddell. Towards the end zone. And in the end zone. 76,000, a sea of red here in Norman. And we are high atop that sea of red, and I mean high atop. On first and 10, J.J. Flanagan running hard across the 25 to the 27. We're down. Second down, a long three for the Buffs. Kissick and Flanagan behind Hagen. Flanagan again. A little short of a first down. And we have come to the end of the first quarter. After a quarter in Norman, Colorado nothing, Oklahoma third and one. Kissick, Hemingway, and Flanagan behind Hagen. Here's Flanagan. J.J.'s got the first down out to the 31. First and 10 from the 31. Here's Flanagan up the middle, dancing across the 40 to the 41. They've had problems with Oklahoma in the seven years of Bill McCartney's tenure here, and so far, so good. Big hole for Eric Kissick. He's into Oklahoma territory, all the way to the OU 30. 27 yards for Kissick, and a first down. Flanagan, not much room, and he's thrown for a loss. Frank Levins, number 35, certainly has been right where he needs to be this afternoon so far. Hagan looks to throw with time. 
A bullet that is incomplete. Hagan puts the football on the ground. It's loose. Oklahoma's got it. Sooner football at the Oklahoma 32. That's the first turnover in the last three games for the University of Colorado. Came at an inopportune time. Collins, the handoff to Perry. For the offensive line of the Sooners. Here's Lewis. Not much room. And Arthur Walker with some help. Third and a couple. The pitch to Lewis. He's got a first down before Chad Brown runs him out. From the 43, Tink Collins hands it off to Lewis. Big hole, and he slides down at midfield. So if you've got great running backs and you're a little shaky quarterback, go ahead and just hand it off to him. Big hole for Leon Perry. He's got a first down into Colorado territory. First and 10 at the Colorado 43. The handoff to Lewis. Walker catches him from behind and drags him down. Collins throws incomplete. He was looking for Ted Long, the H-back. Third and 13. Collins looking for all of it down the sidelines, but it's way out of bounds. He was looking for Arthur Guess. Back and throwing the football. That's why CU so fortunate to have a Darian Hagan. That kick off the side of the foot of Riddell and bounces down to the 37. <laughs> Across the 40, out to the 42, where a fine open field tackle. And when you face that option attack football. Second down and five for the Buffs. Hemingway, a big hole up the middle into Oklahoma territory. Down to the Sooner 44-yard line. Colorado on the move at the Oklahoma 44. 8.55 to go in this first half. Hagan keeps it. Inside the 40, down to the 37 for the third straight play. Really gets right over left tackle for a game of seven. Second down and three. Hemingway pushing the pile. And he's got a first down. First and 10 for the Buffs at the 33. Hagan, the pitch to Flanagan. Flanagan with room on the sideline. And he's tripped up again by Terry Ray. Second and three for Colorado. It's their deepest penetration of the day. Here's Flanagan. Stacked up right at the 25 by the middle of that Oklahoma line. Hagan keeps it. And he should have a first down at the 22. Imperative that they take advantage of scoring opportunities and frankly with touchdowns against a team like OU. From the 22 on first and 10, Hagan cuts it up, gets only two as he's down. This one is stoppable. Delay a game on the Buffs. Down to this closed end of the stadium, which see you uh, on their way to it. It is tough to hear. Hagan looking to throw. Incomplete. In and out of the hands of Hemingway. No score. And off to Flanagan. J.J. with room. Inside the 15, down to the... 13 will be a 30-yard attempt. Campbell will hold. And it is good. Culbertson snuck it in the lower left-hand corner. And Colorado is on the board first. Right, so nothing is going to be a gimme, even from 30 yards away this afternoon. And it'll hurt the team that gets behind in the second half and must throw the ball to catch up. Culbertson got all of that one, drives it right out of the end zone. That might have been, you want to make sure that you don't give Colorado great field position right before halftime. From the 20 on first and 10. Collins runs down the sideline and is nailed at the 19 by Alfred Williams. Loss of one, second and 11 for Oklahoma. Collins wants to throw. And it's incomplete. He was looking for Adrian Cooper. That they don't get that first down. CU should get. Great field position. Reverse. Here's a reverse to Long. 
Hitting down at the 24. Bruce Young hit him first. Stands at his own 40. Jeff is out to the 48. Great field position, their own 47. Hagan's got it, keeps it. Hagan with plenty of room down the sidelines, and he's finally caught from behind at the 14-yard line by Jason Belser. Kevin Thompson, the defensive corner, to play the pitch man. 39-yard run as Flanagan takes it inside the five, down to the four. Here's Kissick. He's got a first down. First and goal. Hemingway down near the goal line. He's not in. Hagan's got it. The pitch. Touchdown, J.J. Flanagan. I'll tell you what, this, this this will be a play that the Adams apples of every CU coach is that Oklahoma has made so many times in the past. Culbertson makes the conversion, 151 to go in the first half, and Colorado suddenly has struck for 10 points. Be worried. Yeah. Line drive pick by Culbertson through the end zone. Just get the ball out there somehow. There's nobody to cover my pitch cut. Oklahoma now down by 10. Lewis twists and turns and fights for about five. And off to Perry, nothing there. Collins throws it incomplete. He was looking for long. Dell giving his right leg a workout. Campbell from the 40. Jeff across midfield in a late flag. You called it. Clip. It's the one great thing about this Colorado offense. You never know. Flanagan to the 35. Well, this Colorado team has to be thrilled going into the locker room with a 10-point lead. Well chronicled their problems here in Norman in the past. Flanagan again. He's out to the 40. Final play of the first half. A half that Colorado can feel very good about as Eric Bieniemy walks out with his hand raised up in the air. They'll be going against the wind, which will be certainly tough to throw the ball. Brewer 6 and Taylor 11 deep. And Brewer will down it in the end zone. So Oklahoma, to three of six on the year for 18 yards through the air for Steve Collins. So he'll start the second half. The pitch to Lewis. Nowhere to go, and he's thrown for a loss by Canavis McGee. So I'm sure you'll see him get involved in the option attack as well. Second and 12. This is Lewis. Nowhere to go. Arthur Walker wraps him up. At the most, a gain of a yard, and now Walker will be flagged for the personal foul on the defense. First down. You'll talk to Bill about that tomorrow night. First and 10 from the 35. Collins. wonder if they'll call that a pass or a lateral. As long as the receiver would be behind the quarterback, you could bounce it out there, and he could still throw it. Second down and 10. This is Lewis. Not much. Couple out to the 37. Now they're in a third long situation again. And they're operating into what looks to be a very stiff wind. They'll have the wind at their back in the fourth quarter. Collins incomplete. He was looking for Adrian Cooper. This one's a good one. Campbell calls for and makes the fair catch. Their team trails by 10. Pitch by Hagen, back to Flanagan. J.J. with room. Fine open field tackle. Holding. Offense. First down. Hagen is hit and thrown for a loss back at the 13. Chris Wilson. They're now on their own 13. Hagen 
Hagen's out to the 19. Can take the football out of the hands of Darian Hagen and force him to either pitch it or give it to somebody else. Hagen looking for room. Makes a fine run, but he's going to be short of the first down. He's out to the 31. At least you give your team a chance to punt the football. Dewell Brewer is deep. Tom Ruin backs him up to the Oklahoma 12. He's out to the 17. Possessed uh, with the ability that Charles Thompson had. Well, they're, they're not seasoned. They haven't had a chance to play yet. And until they get the opportunity, then you're going to be limited. On Collins cuts it upfield himself. And a pretty run. Makes a great cut. He's got room down the sidelines. All the way down to the Colorado 33, where McGee and James finally caught up with him. But this guy, once he gets to the corner, he'll break arm tackles all day long. From the 33, Perry on a dive inside the 30. I thought for a moment there, he might score. Second and six. The pitch to Lewis. A hole up the middle inside the 25 to the 24. Very much in this football game. Third and one. Perry hit behind the line of scrimmage by Canavis McGee. Probably want to run some sort of option play to the left side with Steve Collins having the ability to keep it or pitch it. You called it. He's got it. I don't think he got enough. Michael Jones made the tackle, and I think that Collins is at least a yard short. That was a big play. Was it ever. Hagan, the pitch to Flanagan. J.J.'s run down at the 27. It's for the moment, is taking this crowd just right out of the game. At the middle. Flanagan bounces off one tackle to the 30 and maybe a little more. Third and four. There's the pitch to Flanagan. J.J.'s got a first down as he steps out at the Colorado 36 on the outside to give Flanagan enough to get the first down. Here's the pitch to J.J. Nothing there, and he slides down at the 35. That's the truth. 6-10 to go in the third quarter. Flanagan around the corner. Into Oklahoma territory at the Sooner 49. Hemingway lost the football. Oakland and Colorado got it back. Second down and nine. Hagan. And it's intercepted at the 12-yard line. He was looking for Mike Pritchard, but Kevin Thompson, number 22. Good point. Second turnover of the day for Colorado. Oklahoma's got it. Less than five minutes to go in the third quarter. On the reverse, they're going to throw off the reverse. It's long. Throwing incomplete for Adrian Cooper. Second and ten. Collins will keep it. Flag is down. You got a holding call. Yeah, so is Collins. Another late flag is down. It's just collar to see you, Buff. A hold and a clip. It is second and 17. Dangerous area to operate for Oklahoma. As you can see by the play calls, Perry breaks some tackles, busts out to the 18-yard line. Here's Perry. Terry Johnson wraps him up at the 21. He's a couple of yards short. Flag is down, they roughed Riddell, and it looks like Oklahoma will get it back. This one will cost them. Well, you'll see, as number 26, Julian Hayward, tries to go for the block, and... Collins on first and 10, the pitch to Brewer. He's run out at the 41. Perry, Ooh. nothing there. How? 
the pitch to Brewer. He's got a first down out to the 48, Alfred Williams, allowing Brewer to get the necessary yardage. Collins throws and completes it to Long, down to the 33. 15-yard pickup. Steve Collins has moved him more effectively than Tink Collins as Brewer inside the 30, down to the 28. Steve Collins, the freshman, hands it off to Brewer. He's got a hole inside the 25. It's a long one. Actually, the 23. Brewer looks to have enough. From the 23, first and 10. This is Brewer again. McGee's got him. They'll give him forward progress to the 21, the last play of the quarter. 76,000 strong are up. Trying to push Oklahoma back into it. Don't go away. There's a quarter left. Collins may be checking off as he barks to his wide receivers. That was a busted play as Collins is down. So if Oklahoma is going to do it, Now's the time. A big rush. He can run it. He's got room. But he's out short of the first down. He steps out at the 16. Asher, as you see, 10 of 12. You see what he's done from different yardages. They'll spot it at the 23 from 33 yards out. It is on the way, and it is good. So Oklahoma scoring for the first time today. Lasher, a 35-yard field goal, 14-21 to go. Colorado 10, Oklahoma 3. Riddell will kick off. Nelson watches it go out of the end zone. Colorado. And offside, offside on the kicking team. We kick. Nope. <laughs> That's right, 1937 to be exact. This one may be returned. Pritchard from the six. Across the 20, across the 35. He's out to midfield before he's finally wrapped up. From midfield. Hagan cuts it up, and he's down to the 45. That's what you have to do if you're going to run against Oklahoma. Coleman, Garten, Lewenberg, Muhlenberg, and Vanderpool. What a job they have done all season. Here's Flanagan. Fine open field tackle by Chris Wilson. Third and four. Colorado needs to get to the 40. Hagan. He's got a first down inside the 40 to the 38. Oh, today they've been quite successful at it. Hagan knew exactly where the first down marker was. Here's Flanagan. Bouncing inside. Breaking tackles. Flanagan down to the 30. Second and two. Hagan. Looking, he's got Pritchard. First down inside the 15. And this is crucial, absolutely, for the Oklahoma defense to keep CU out of the end zone. Hagan's got it. He'll keep it. And he's down to the 10. Levins and Dillard. I mean that Oklahoma would have to score twice to win. Hagan, nowhere to go. Busted play, and Dillard throws him down at the 10. Colorado's got to get just inside the five. Option left. No. Kissick up the middle. And they stop at the line of scrimmage. The gamble will hold. They'll spot it at the 17. It's a 27-yard attempt. It is up, and it is good. Ken Culbertson from 27 yards out extends the lead. 9.49 to go in the ballgame. Colorado 13. Oklahoma three. They've got the wind at their back. Brewer, three yards deep, he'll run it out. He's across the 20 and down to 21, and Colorado will be penalized for a face mask. You see you, I imagine, 15 yards. That'll take it out near the 35. They trail 13 to three. The pitch to Brewer. He gets outside. He's out near midfield. A fine run by Brewer. Got to admire the Sooners. They will not go down 
easily. Collins, incomplete. He was looking for guess. Each team with two timeouts left. Here's the reverse, and it's fumbled by Long. He's, he still doesn't have it. Finally covers up. Back at the Oklahoma 33. At the time, Ted Long just didn't look at it. It cost him about 55 yards. Third and 28. Collins steps up, fires, and it's complete. To a wide open, Ted Long down the sidelines, all the way down to the Colorado 22. Tim James knocks him out. A big play by Oklahoma. So Oklahoma converts a third and 28. They're still breathing. Collins fakes and falls down at the 25. Collins, incomplete, looking for long. That's why it was such a big stand defensively for OU to keep Colorado from scoring a touchdown in the last drive. Here they come again. Now they may be out of field goal range as Collins is down at the 31. His long of the year, 49. That's what this will be. From 49 yards out, it is wide to the left and no good. Not even close. You're coming. One, seven, 17 away from beating Oklahoma. Hagan cuts it up inside. Nice run out to the 37. And at the worst, you line up and punt it. Here's Flanagan. Inside, J.J., maybe a yard. Third down. Colorado's got to get to the 42. Hagan's with it. Not even close. He's nailed at the 38. Brewer lets it bounce. And it's down at the 20. Here's the reverse. Fumbled by Guess. He loses it. Arthur Walker is near it. And I believe Colorado's got it. Arthur Walker is on the bottom of that pile when they unstack. First and goal. Get it! Hand off to Flanagan. JJ wrapped up by the line of scrimmage. Second and goal. Kiss it. He gets maybe a yard. He's stacked up. Third and goal. Kissick 33. Pritchard 9. Flanagan 2. All behind quarterback Darian Hagan. Hagan's got it. Cuts it inside. Touchdown! The streak is over. Touchdown is good. Sportsmanlike conduct. This way. And oh, how true. Did you ever think, as a CU All-American, a member of the 100-year anniversary team, one of the greatest athletes ever produced by this universe, probably the Big A title, but conceivably the national title. This is Brewer with a hole out to the 45. Collins makes a couple miss, throws down the sideline, nearly picked off by Tim James. He was looking. Collins again. A bullet, and it's incomplete. In and out of the hands of Adrian Cooper. One big hurdle overcome by Colorado. Collins throws, and Chad Brown nearly picked that off. And not Colorado, because Colorado has their sights set elsewhere. Collins on fourth down. And they call that a completion to guess. Clock now moving at 245. Collins will just get out of bounds, and he does at the 43. And until you do it in their backyard, you really are not recognized as 
the challenger. There, there are no other ifs about Colorado. They're here. They've arrived. Collins over the middle. He's got guess. Now he dropped that one. And I'll call that one incomplete. You put a couple out at wide receiver, but <laughs> I mean, you don't. If you're a great receiver, you just don't want to come to Oklahoma. They don't throw the ball enough. And consequently, they have a tough time catching a lot of throws. Collins is going to try to run for it. He's not going to make it. He's down at the 38, and Colorado in this sea of red. They've all got gold and black on them. And let's hope there's no sea of red next Saturday. Here's Campbell on the reverse. Jeff's got some room. Across the 45, out to midfield. That one's... Here's Flanagan. Up the middle. He got a couple. Hagan. Inside the 45 to the 43. Any consideration given to coming here and attending the University of Oklahoma? Sure. All the Oklahoma faithful want to thank Jamil for that. And the coaching staff. Here's the pitch to Flanagan. J.J. outside. Gets by one man. Nowhere to go. And down he goes. Bill. Ruin will punt. And like everything else, it's gone CU's way. As this one bounces down to the one. And now it's into the end zone for a touchback. Next week's for all the marbles. I mean, it's just, it's ideal. It's, it, you couldn't write it, it's, it's a storybook. You couldn't write it better. No, it's been a terrific day. And all the Colorado people that were up here and just have a tremendous special feeling about this one. He's done a heck of a job. There's, uh, he's got to feel really good. Uh, you know, you ha you're concerned when you come in and uh, even though Oklahoma was, uh, yeah. You know, it has not played as well as the final play of the ball game. A game that has been dominated by Colorado as Collins with the clock at zero throws it up and it's knocked down and that is it. Bill, thanks very much. Congratulations. Thanks very much, Ron. I enjoyed it. Okay. Bill Marold, the AD at Colorado. Gary Gibbs walks off the field and what can you say? What can you say? I'll tell you what, I, I don't think there's much to say. Defensively, they were outstanding. Colorado really did a terrific job in making the big plays at the big time.